Hey everybody, it's Karen from R4 Acrylics. How are you? This is actually video number two for me today. The first one was the collaboration pour with Jenny Post. That'll be up later, so this is actually the second pour, but first video for you. I'm going to just do just a regular old painting tonight. Uh, I did show and tell at the last video, so I'm just going to hop right to it. My family's downstairs. They started a new uh, series of movies, starting with the original Star Wars, in case you recognize the music. I think it's over. Or, it sounds like the theme song, doesn't it? All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, I scraped the canvas earlier. This is a 16 inch square, gallery wrapped. Um, I had quite the battle mixing with both my white, which is a new bottle, and my pouring medium uh, mix, I ended up having to use a strainer to get out all kinds of weird stringy stuff. And I was killing off some Vallejo pouring medium. I had a little bit left in two bottles, enough to make about four ounces and it, it wrecked havoc when it mixed with the glue. So it took me about 45 minutes to uh, get that all sorted out. Just checking my white again. It's looking good. So let me, while I'm on the pouring medium topic, it was uh, four ounces of the Vallejo pouring medium. I killed off a little bit of my golden uh, gloss pouring medium, like two ounces of that. So I did six ounces of PVA and then four ounces of water. So a little bit different. We'll see uh, how that reacts with the paint. My colors tonight are Amsterdam greenish blue, Amsterdam uh, Napathol red light, basically orange. Uh, I got some Amsterdam Naples yellow right here and then I was for a second I thought I'm like oh all oh, Amsterdam but no one different brand this is PBO iridescent greenish blue that's amazing there's the consistency my usual you know leaves a trace maybe slightly thick but I'm gonna roll with it and trying to decide what I want to do. Maybe I want to do a sandwich pour, just a regular pour with these colors. What do I want to do? Let me, while I'm pondering, let me go ahead and add my spot on treadmill silicone and give a shout out to Logan, who was telling me about the closed caption feature on YouTube, that if you're somewhere where you can't listen to commentary, you can turn on closed caption and watch that way. Except, so I tried it on my own videos. It's hilarious. So for the comedy factor, I recommend you put it on just to see the crazy, you think I, I speak crazy, you know, talk <laughs> just in real life. Put me on closed caption and watch all the crazy stuff I say. It was pretty funny. And I'm sure it's like that for everybody, not just me. But let's worry about what kind I'm gonna do later. Let's just go ahead and do some layers. Let me check out this white again. And yeah. Yeah, it seems okay. Let's start with my white. Maybe we'll do a modified sandwich pour with uh, with the white just on the top and bottom. Because I don't have a whole lot of paint. Let's do that. Let's do the yellow. And then the blue. Got a bunch of blue. And oh, 
here comes my family. I think they're done with their movie. Got all quiet and they're acting silly, so it runs in the family. And then the green. Oh gosh, is that gorgeous? I think I will. Go ahead and sandwich that for everybody. And Or maybe I'll like leave it like this and start a second second cup. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. There's cup one. I should have done them together. I just thought of it right now, so sorry about that. I'll make it quick. Because this is gonna be it for the orange. I'm not that much orange. I tell you, it's this time of year. It kind of hurts to uh, look at my Facebook page, you know, because the memories come up. And this time last year, I was apartment shopping in New York City, all full of hope, with big dreams and plans to get out of suburbia. And experience the big city and here I am right back where I started but what are you gonna do life happens all right still got a bunch of the blue oh gosh is that gorgeous I think I'm gonna pour. I just decided right this second. I'm gonna save a little bit of these two and maybe do I, uh, I have a little eight inch round to kill off. And this will be plenty of paint. So I'm gonna pour, that way I can stop. Oops, that's a pretty good sandwich, right? If I need to. Some fresh gloves and off we go. There's the orange. Hello. I'm trying to create negative space too. like seeing cells right off the bat. It's always worrisome. That's gonna be the damn Vallejo. God, I hate that pouring medium. Now it is officially gone though. I'm so weird. I like refuse to get rid of it. I'm just stretching things out. All right, that's pretty good. Let's see what happens. Give it a torch. Yeah. 
I'm kind of worried. There's some serious torching going on. I mean, torching. Some cells going on. I like kind of that blue part up there. So let me come down toward me a little bit. And take it off. Oh, it's really crowded right there. my way over to this one corner. Stretch things out a bit. Oh, look at me saving that one blue cell. Ha ha. I don't know, maybe it'll work out. I'm keeping the weight of the paint over my side here just to uh, work my way up before going to the other side. Keep that blue. I might just. Oh, my hand's not clean. Ah. I was hoping that'd be all nice and white under there, but no. Hmm. I'll worry about that in a second. I want to keep that blue at the top. Let's bring it down. Head over to the other side. It's going to get crowded for a second, I think. But I'll uncrowd crowd it. I want to keep the negative space. Let me pour some of the white off. And then bring it back. Because I'm liking what I see. Let me stop and stare and slow down. to keep this and it's going to go and that's going to be all color instead of white and I'd really like to have that as white and pour white up here like where's my clean where's my white stick okay, Mario like let's get rid of this so I'm going to pour white there I'm going to take it off. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to cover this, like make sure this gets covered. I think I'm going to leave that white and then figure out what to do with this corner. Maybe leave that white as well. I don't want this to go over. I want to keep it just the way it is. So let me try to do that first. Because I love the composition. The colors are great. I am pleasantly surprised. Oh, let me just go. Let me shake, rattle, and roll up to this one end. Yeah, right there. I'm aiming for you. That's right. Off a little bit. I wanted to save a little bit of blue, but... Aw, oh, there went my one end that I wanted to save, but what are you going to do? That's okay. That's okay. Right there? Yeah. That's what I wanted to save. So let me add my white here. I keep dirtying up the stick, so I gotta keep a clean white stick. under here and I just spread you up will you let me <gasps> yeah and about right here will you let me spread you down we are over a little bit 
You can be a little green, that's okay. That's actually like a modeled cell at this corner. Let's put some white on the corner there. Yeah, I'm kind of, I think I am more than liking this. I'm kind of loving this. This is really thin right here. As soon as, as soon as I go to tilt, it's gonna roll under. And even if I try to put the white, it's so thin that it, it's just not gonna go. I can tell by looking at it, like it's really thin. If it was like a mound where you can tell like there was plenty of paint, I would so be there and do it. But since it's not, I'm just gonna add some white there. And then, see what we got. Hopefully I have enough white. Oh yeah. I managed to keep a clean stick. <laughs> and dirtied it up anyway. That's all right, we'll just smear the blue around. Get my sides. I've been um, kind of studying the way the paint behaves when you pour it, like what com what's coming out first, and noticing a pattern that, you know, usually, well, if you're gonna do a sandwich pour like that, but obviously the white's coming out first, but the second thing that comes out is, I don't have any here now, I should have showed you when I did it, where it's, has that layer of white on top of it where it's mixed. And then the stuff that toward the bottom before the next batch of white comes out, the colors are really, really crisp, if that makes any sense. If you play this back, you'll see it. And I notice that every single time I do one now. And I'm gonna figure out a way to hopefully use that to my advantage. Because if you know things like that, you can plan, you know, what you want at least that's my working theory that I'm gonna to have to uh, explore more. All right. I don't know, like this modeled cell right here, I feel like I should just, let's get rid of it, make it white, because I don't, <coughs> excuse me, I don't like the way it looks. Like this whole part right here. Yeah, and there's color underneath of it. Bye bye. Oh, I don't want to mess up that cell. Get your stick out of it, Goober. Oh no, you just dirtied up yet another stick. Let me get a paper towel. Oh yeah, that's better. I don't like that modeled corner. Is there anything else I want to do? Maybe just shift it a little bit so it looks a little more natural. What for? I think I'm done, y'all. That would like, there's not a lot of fuss to this one. It's, uh, I'm super happy with it. Super, super happy. I even, dare I dare say it, I even like the caterpillar right there. I just love the colors. I think that's, that's the ticket. I might give a torch just to see if I get anything right in here. Maybe right there, not this. 
and maybe just right there because I'm greedy. And that's baby torch on the end. I got a ton of bubbles here. Anything right in there? No, it's just bubbles. Here, it's gonna give it a little freckles. I actually, it's one of the few times I don't mind the freckles because it, it blended in with the, the fresh white. Because it'll kind of rid ridiculous to have the freckles and non freckles. That makes any sense. I'm kind of babbling tonight, I feel. Ta -da. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a keeper. <gasps> yeah. Please dry well. This is going under a tarp. For sure. I'm staring. Which is a yeah. I'm really super happy. Let me get you guys down. I'm just going to uh, very gently pop my phone off this thing. Because I, I find that easier. Okay. So yeah. Check out the uh, green blue cells. Aren't they awesome? I just love the white cells in the middle, surrounded by the edge, and then this bit down here. Awesome sauce. Look at the caterpillar. That one's actually cute, because it doesn't look like, you know, a body part or anything. And I love this orange into the blue, into the green part. Like this, these cells right here in the middle. Aren't they great? Yeah, yeah. This is a keeper. Yep. And then there are cells way up here. Those blue guys on the end. That's why I didn't want to pour them off, because look at them. Let me come up high. And yeah. Ta da! Again. Double ta da! That's a double ta da! 22 minutes, too. Yay! That's it for me tonight. Uh, so you're gonna get a lot from me in the next couple of days. I'm gonna post this one now, then you get the collaboration pour, and then I'm going to film the um, winning painting for Judy. Uh, and yeah, so this is my last week of work, and then I'm free. So look for more. Stay tuned, take care, love you guys, bye.